What's up guys, Dad Dash here for another video from the road, talking to you about things that are, uh, things that are relevant to the gig world. So, today's topic video I want to talk about is controlling the, what I call the controllables, and not worrying about anything that you can't control. Um, because a lot of times, a majority of what I hear out there, and I float around, I, you know, read comments, I'm, I'm present for a lot of things, sometimes I announce my presence sometimes I don't but I'm always watching I'm always looking I'm always listening because I'm always trying to learn but what I hear is, is I hear a lot of people allow and get upset about things that are outside of what they can control and when you do that when that happens okay that's a very very bad thing because you're putting energy towards something that isn't something you can affect. Instead of putting energy towards the things that you can affect. So, um, obviously, you cannot control things you cannot see. So you have to deal with the information that is in front of you. That is one of the biggest things. So what I mean by that is this. You don't know on a DoorDash order what's tip, what's not. You don't even know that on a Grubhub order. You don't even know that on a Uber Eats order. So, you shouldn't be worrying about tips or no tips or whatever. What you should only be worrying about is, is, is there enough value on that offer screen? And that's what you determine. And you need to understand your value factors. Restaurant, wait time, how long can you get in? Can you get out? What's their reputation? What have you learned? Where are you dropping off at? Where's the customer location at? What's the likelihood of getting an order? Is there enough money on your screen to get you to where you can get an order? These are the things you can control because you can decide to accept or decline. Now, once you've accepted the order, the only thing you can control at that particular point is what you're doing and whether or not you decide if you get to the restaurant and things don't go, whether or not it's a profitable decision or not to cancel out of the order and try to find another order. And one of the biggest considerations you would want to give is if it's three o'clock in the afternoon and it's really slow, would you want to give up an order because of a long wait and end up with zero dollars and end up with dead miles that you maybe drove to that restaurant on unless you were sitting right in front of the restaurant? Is that a profitable decision or isn't it? And that's what you gotta consider. These are the things that are the controllables. Those are the things that you should be tracking, looking, and becoming better informed with. Our job out here to ourselves is to make the most informed decision. And when you make a more informed decision, whether that's through seeing others who have had similar decisions to make and watching their outcomes and seeing what they chose to do or what they didn't do and then coming up with an idea of what you would do in that situation or or maybe it's uh tracking uh information tracking things using apps that help you track things or doing it yourself noting restaurants that have long waits seeing if you have long wait, you know, seeing if you have a restaurant that's having a trend of long waits every time you go. One way you can do that, track your wait time. If you're seeing a wait time above what you're willing to wait, note that. Take that into consideration. Make sure that that offer, those, you know, if you have a restaurant that's notoriously long for wait time, then you need to anticipate that you're going to be on the order longer. And therefore, the m amount on that screen needs to be larger. Know what that amount per minute is that you need to make. Know what you need to make in order to cover your expenses and come home at the end of the day with enough money, with enough money to cover what you need. The, those are the things you're responsible for. And anybody out there who's telling you you can do this and not make those considerations and not benefit from being better informed, from having that knowledge base, they're foolish. But it's your decision on who you listen to and where you want to go with it. That's up to you. 
That's the beauty of this thing. But know what you need to do. Control and focus on only what you can control and let the rest go. You can't control what another person thinks. You can't control what happens with the restaurant's operations. The only thing you can control is whether you go to that restaurant. But if you continue to make uninformed decisions, if you continue to keep yourself uninformed, then eventually, the person that's responsible for the lack of results, if you're not liking your results, is you. It's no one else. And some people will say, well, that's that's crazy. People are getting manipulated. The apps are manipulating people. Yes, they are. If you let them. And maybe there's a level of manipulation that just will happen regardless of how you approach things. But... There's also a lot of things you can do to make sure that you're not causing yourself unneeded issues while you're out here working and that you're working as efficiently as possible and that you're able to get things done as fast as possible. Remember, what we are, the core principle that makes you money in the gig world is time management, allocating your time in the most efficient and profitable way. That is your job. How are you going to allocate your time in a way during your day that makes you the most money in the fastest way and that gets you the most value for the minutes that you're laboring out here in your market? And the more, the better you become at that, the better you become at, at allocating your time to profitable things, the faster you will earn and the more satisfaction you will get out of your results and you will become happier and more satisfied. And you will also be able to take the benefits of working for yourself and not having to worry about being responsible to anyone other than yourself. And by that, I mean your bank account. And when you get your bank account healthy and it's where it needs to be, then you can take a day off. And ain't nobody can say a word to you. And nobody can complain at you. And if your bank account allows you to take five days off in a row, you don't need a vacation bank to do it. Although you're not getting a vacation bank for gig work. But you get to, if you go out and make your money and know your goals and do your thing and do your homework and do what you need to do and put the work in when you need to put the work in so you can maximize your time and your value of your time, you will reap the benefits of that and you will end up getting more out of this experience. And I don't care whether it's AI or whatever it is that's running these apps, if you're doing things to make better informed decisions, you will get better results. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave you there at that. I appreciate you watching today. Put in the comments what uh, what your thoughts are. What, what ways are you actively making yourself better informed? Put that in the comments if you make it through to this part of the video. If you did, as always, guys, I appreciate it. And as always, guys, stay safe. Stay profitable, and Dad Dash will talk to you soon.